Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have another super fun weekend in my life video coming. James and I have a lot planned this weekend. It's Friday, I'm happy Friday, happy Friday. And we're going to see the new James Bond movie. I'm so excited. I love James Bond. We've been waiting for this movie to come out for what feels like years. Maybe it has been years at this point. And so we've had our tickets in advance for a while. We're going to one of those movie theaters that has the reclining chairs. And anybody who knows me knows that I fall asleep pretty much during every movie. But if it's like an action-packed, smart movie like James Bond, I'm very into it. So that's what we have going on tonight. And then this weekend, we're gonna get up to some other fun stuff. Tomorrow I have a haircut. We are going to a baby shower. It's supposed to be another beautiful weekend here in Chattanooga. So yeah, let's have a great weekend. I hope that you all enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and let's get cooking on dinner. Okay, I changed into a really basic little date night outfit, just a white knit tank and some jeans. So, getting up here. This thing is like my favorite thing ever. We had it on our registry and we got it for our couple shower, but basically you can cook anything in this. I love cooking vegetables and I'm gonna do some Brussels sprouts, but you just throw them in this and they're good to go. But you do have to preheat it, so I'm gonna do that. On, veggies, or no, this one. Preheat, yeah. Start. Also just gonna cook up some chicken on the stove. I'm on a health kick lately. For the past five days, I've eaten super clean. I'm really proud of myself. I don't wanna just like throw it all away over the weekend, so. I'm trying to stay eating clean, that's why we're having chicken in Brussels. And also it's just delicious and it makes you feel great. We have the chicken cooking. I've got this bag of shaved vegetables and they're ready to go. They're already washed. So I'm just gonna throw them in here, put some olive oil and then toss them in barbecue Kenzie spice. Triple A, credits are right. Hang right. Next to lazy cook in the dictionary, there is a picture of me, portion. 24 twice. That's she's how you eat phone, but she's staying on Veggies. There we go. And that's the beauty of this dinner. I'm sitting here. Food is cooking over there. And every once in a while, I just give it a talk. I'm gonna make some rice for James as well. I'm not gonna have any rice because I'm gonna treat myself to some popcorn at the movie theater because going to the movie theater and not getting popcorn is like committing a crime. In my family especially, like, I love movie theater popcorn and I am not willing to sacrifice that. Honey, I'm home. And look what he brought. Flowers. Vina. And this is one of our favorite brands. Cantina. And this is a Cabernet Franc. I don't know if I actually ever had a Cabernet Franc before. Hmm. But uh, Cab Franc, Cab Sav is a Cab Franc blended with a Sauvignon Blanc. I can't believe not I never the, knew. Not the wine, but the grapes. Yeah. They I were like, I just can't believe I never knew that. Yeah. Wow. So Wow. Well, it's all right. You know any rice? Yeah, I'm gonna have some popcorn. Oh, no. Cheers to the weekend. One to ten, how excited are you? Pump. This is the end of Daniel Craig as James Bond. It's a big deal. <laughs> 06, 08, 2012, 2016, Casino Royale, Palm Sauce, Skyfall, Spectre. Or such story. Thoughts? I thought I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. I really like this, but I still like Casino Royale better. Casino Royale was an epic masterpiece, but it was still a super good movie. Yeah, it was still super good. It's definitely recommend. Really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna give anything away. Yeah, no spoilers here. No spoilers here, but definitely recommend. What do you think? What would you rate it on? 
Oh, I think man. he's gonna get a lot of seven eights, to be honest. Well, like I don't know. Days. I could see nine point twos. <laughs> 9.2s on IMDb at least. I'm, I bet Rotten Tomatoes will have it pretty high too. I'm a harsher movie critic than James is, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. James is just like, I thought, <laughs> no, I thought there were a lot of elements though, and I did a little bit of research, and by research, I mean I listened to what other people thought about what it could be and what it needed to be. And it hit everything? And it pretty much hit all of the, how you say, Fan appeal or something like that? Mm -hmm. Man, I thought it was good. You wanna get it? Morning guys. So I'm just about to head to the hair salon. I'm really excited to get a few inches cut off and get some layers. I haven't had a haircut in probably about a year and a half. So definitely overdue and I'm not gonna lie. I took scissors to it myself at one point over the past year and that was not a good decision so yeah let's go get this shake up hi literally like one minute away from my apartment so that was convenient okay here's the cut i really like it i think that she did a good job and it looks a lot healthier so yeah good and we're back. It didn't take long. Honestly, I don't have like a ton of hair, so. But I think that it's gonna be a good thing. I wanna go work out, but just took all that time to like blow it out and make it look nice. And so, if I go work out, it's just gonna get covered in sweat. So, maybe we'll enjoy it for a little bit before that happens. Okay, got a quick workout in. I'm feeling a lot better. Although I wrecked my new hair, it's completely soaked in sweat. Oh well. But I wanted to talk about this workout set real quickly. I got it from Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. And if you don't have this workout set, you need it. The sports bra is super supportive. Like I could run in it on the treadmill and feel completely supportive, which is amazing because it doesn't look that supportive. And then the material's really thick, good quality. It kind of holds you in it. So I'll have a link below. 1,000% recommend, especially for the price. Bubsy's not feeling the best today, are you? I'm sorry. We went to the market. They were having an Oktoberfest, and we met up with some friends. Grabbed a bite to eat, and then we just popped into Walmart to grab a few things for the baby shower, and we're headed there now. So it's gonna be a fun day. Just seeing the prices of diapers make you want to have a baby. <laughs> Jump in the car with us. Frankie. Frankie. Hi, buddy. Woo, Frankie. Dog napped him. <laughs> He's our puppy now. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Good morning, it's Sunday. We had a really relaxed morning and now we are getting ready to go on a trail run. We're gonna take the GoPro and hopefully get some cool footage, run some errands up that way and then come home and for the Steeler game and make a nice steak dinner. James wants to get some new sunglasses, so maybe we'll pop into the store and get those.
been the best Sunday. We woke up, we relaxed, James made breakfast. I forgot to film it, but he made breakfast of like eggs and bacon and we had a chill morning and then we grabbed a present for my friend's birthday and then went on a long trail run, the kind that just like really takes it out of you, but it felt so good. And one of the things that I always tell James is like one of the best gifts that he's ever given me is when we first started dating, I thought that I could run, but I really couldn't even run a mile, right? No, I really couldn't even run a mile without just completely dying, like passing out sometimes, just feeling like absolute H E double L. And since then, like he stuck through it with me and just always run with me, even when I was really slow and needed to take a lot of breaks. And now it's just such, it's just so awesome that we can just like go out and run six miles on the trails together, which is pretty taxing and have that time together and I feel fine. Like, of course it's work and of course there's moments where I don't feel great, but the fact that I can do it and do it at you know, a reasonable pace that James would do anyways is so awesome. So six years in the making, I would say it probably took, it took up until about year three where I was like comfortable running and talking. But if you're thinking about getting into running or if you're in those early stages of becoming a runner, don't give up, it's so worth it, so worth it. We went back to our old stomping grounds, did that trail run, stopped by a friend's house, stopped by the market, got a cheese plate, which I'm super pumped about, I'll show you more. And yeah, the rest of the evening, I think that we're just gonna chill and have a little date night in to end the week, so, end the weekend. Yeah, start the week, start the week off right. I guess we could take these off. This local coffee shop to us that does these amazing cheese boards and cheese shops. What did I say? Coffee shop. <laughs> cheese shop that does these amazing cheese boards and we hadn't had one in probably, when was the last time? You brought one home that like random Monday that I was having a bad day. But it's probably been like eight months. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. Tonight for dinner we have sweet potato and steak and then maybe we'll do a little salad on the side as well. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend.